Mm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dylan. And I'm Ryan. Welcome to the show where we review books and their movie adaptations. One of us reads the book before watching the movie. The other watches the movie and then reads the book. We give you our recommendation for which order gives you the best experience. And in this episode, we are doing uh, the book-movie combo of Bullet Train. Um, Bullet Train, uh, the book was uh, written in 2010 uh in uh by uh, kotaro isaka um and then later translated into uh english um and it is uh basically the story the intertwined story of um multiple different uh assassins and shady characters that all comes together on a bullet train mm -hmm. um speeding toward tokyo mm -hmm. right and through japan yeah. through japan and um on goodreads uh, currently has a uh, score of 3.74 out of 5, which is 7.48 out of 10. Okay, pretty respectable. And that book, Bullet Train, was adapted into a Hollywood movie in 2022. It was directed by David Leitch, who has also directed movies like Atomic Blonde, Deadpool 2, and Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw. And one fun fact about the director, uh, before becoming a director... He worked as a stunt performer in the 90s and was actually Brad Pitt's stunt double in Fight Club. Wow, that is interesting. That is cool. I thought that was cool yeah. when I was looking up. And speaking of Brad Pitt, Bullet Train has a large ensemble cast, including Brad Pitt as Ladybug. It has Sandra Bullock as Maria, Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry as Tangerine and Lemon, as Hiroyuki Sonata from Ring as The Elder, has Joey King as the Prince, Andrew Koji as Kimura, Michael Shannon as the White Death, Logan Lerman as the Sun, Zazie Beats from Deadpool 2 as the Hornet, and finally Benito Martinez Ocasio, aka Bad Bunny, as the Wolf. Okay, and on Rotten Tomatoes, Bullet Train has a critic score of 53% and an audience score of 76%. Yeah, uh -huh. Yeah, okay. so the audience liked that one better. Wow. As, uh, so as far as our ratings go, though, um, I read the book first, uh, and then and I gave that an 8.2 out of 10, uh, and then I watched the movie and gave it an 8.0. Oh, nice. Uh, I watched the movie first, and I gave the movie a 7.2, uh, and then I read the book and gave that a 7.4. Very but similar split there, at least, yeah. between each of our scores there yeah, no huge differences um all right yeah so now we get into the part where we may discuss some spoilers as we give our reasonings for why we rated them the way that we did uh, so if you're worried about spoilers at all for either of these um we'll give you the the time or you can skip to the mm -hmm. end here are uh, final recommendations yeah. um but, but if you don't care about that yeah. let's talk about it now yeah for the spoiler section uh, okay, so you liked both of them better than I did. I did, which is kind of surprising. It seems like um, it would be something that you would, you know, like a lot more. Um, maybe it was because of the movie, though. I The movie, uh, I didn't like as much. Um, I know Me neither, but I, I bet yeah, I watched it. Uh, you liked it, I guess, about what uh, the audience scored yeah, it. Yeah, similar. Um, um, I'm surprised the critics scored it so low. I mean, maybe not because it's... The one knock I had about it where it could be, it could have been like a really good movie, but it became a little bit too over the top. Yeah. Um, just like it, it was, it was, uh, they went over the top with the silly part of it. Yeah. Um, that was not in the book. Obviously what's silly about the book is like, how the heck could all these coincidences happen this way? There's some silliness to the book, but yeah, the main but the thing movie I was thinking is, is the like book the is things darker. that happen. Yeah, the yeah the book is darker. The things that happen in the movie happen in a sillier way. Yeah, for and sure. un completely unrealistic, like the train crash, train crash at the end. <laughs> yeah, like where they're crazy. flying through. That part for me was like, okay, what is going yeah. on? I'm almost kind of surprised. I just had a fun time with the movie. That's yeah. why I give it an eight because I was like, I would watch that again. It was just, it was a oh, fun movie. I liked movie. it for sure. Um, I liked it. Yeah. And um, so that was enough to give it, you know, a higher score um, where it could have been worse. So yeah, I'm still surprised on that 53% critics. That seems like, really that's... low because like, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's the best 
movie ever made. But yeah, the action's super good. Yeah. Uh, it's really cool the way it's stylized. It just looks yeah. really mm-hmm. cool. Uh, yeah, great cast. Really good action. Um, yeah, the over-the-top silliness. And then mostly for me, I was just left wanting to know more about all the characters in the movie. Yeah. Because there's so many of them. You don't get a lot of time to learn about them. So it focuses a lot on the action mm-hmm. and the style. Uh, so I like the book a little bit more because I learned more yeah. about the characters. Um, the prince is more of a villain in the book. Oh yeah, that's one of my Way things worse. that I think the book is is better. And it's like, I I get it. They wanted to make a lighthearted movie. Probably yeah. it was such a dark. The prince is like a psychopath. Yeah, really uh, disturbing. Like they added the, the like uh, again. So like big thing, the white death completely added. Oh for yeah, the, for the movie like. The prince is just a standalone character in the book mm-hmm. who is only doing that to Kimura because uh, he, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, I forget. Yeah, the, they changed that. Yeah. Um, in the book, he's just he's a psychopath. He just wants to yeah. do it, you know. He doesn't um, have any empathy, basically. And... Yeah, and partly because um, Kimura, like, was messing with him. Yeah, it kind of embarrassed him in yeah. front of his little gang his of little teenagers. Teenage group or whatever <laughs> that he's doing yeah. sadistic things with. Like, you know, I don't know. He has this little like makeshift taser which and he's just tasing them yeah yeah he's like their leader yeah and, uh, uh, yeah and that's that's what makes him a better villain in the book is because i mean kimura messes with him but he's kind of trying to save the other people so he yeah he makes kimura good and then yeah. the prince is just vile yeah and then yeah there's no white death there's the hornets there's two hornets in the book yeah um so then yeah, yeah the and there just, and um what's the the uh, minigishi is the crime lord in the book? Oh, yeah. He's not even in the movie yeah. at all. So his it's like son the... is still there, but yeah, he kind of dies. But uh, yeah, he's just kind of alluded to. Right, and everyone's kind of scared. And um, and that's the other thing that oh, that I would I wanted to see in the in the movie is Kimura's uh, parents. Oh, because yeah. they in the There's book so much cooler they the show book. up at like yeah. he's just talking to them as like their parents who don't like him you know like yeah, he's yeah. a uh, good for nothing and then they show up at the end and they're like assassins too from the old days they're like getting their stuff ready like yeah all right time to go to work and they like yeah. totally wrap things up you know in the in the book and it's like ah it's such a better uh, that was such a good ending a yeah ending. i love those characters and it's kind of funny the way it's presented because they're like just grandparents yeah you're not but, expecting it when yeah. it happens and you're but like, then it's oh, also yeah. really badass like yeah i like when um the prince thinks he has the upper hand in the book because he's like oh I, your grandson is still in the hospital but then they get the message that goes by uh-huh. and they see it they're like oh no we already took out your yeah. guy that's that's funny too because like um don't tangerine and lemon talk about that earlier in the book like uh, you know, it's a thing they have. I don't know if oh, lemon. The messaging system. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if yeah. one of them, if it's lemon, who says like that would be a good way to you know send a message to somebody, yeah. and then it's probably I then I don't remember. In Tangerine's like, what are you talking about? You know, <laughs> yeah. or something. You know, but then it happens. You know, uh-huh. that kind of thing. Um, mm-hmm. I think you know, obviously they did bring the uh, Thomas and friends into the movie too, yeah, but yeah. they there was a lot more in the book. Yeah, you know, I do like that as a character trait for. Yeah. Um, is that lemon? That's, That's lemon, lemon, right? Yeah. yeah. Lemon likes Thomas and friends, Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah. 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 And then the other thing, I guess, that I didn't like as much about the movie. I, I mean, I'm saying all these things I didn't like about the movie. I only rate, uh, both of us only rated it slightly yeah, lower than the close. book. But yeah. um, uh, because it was still really good, but it could have been, I think, possibly better than the oh, book sure. if they added oh, yeah. all those things in because action is portrayed so much better in a movie a lot of yeah. times than the description. So like if they had kept some of these things that we really liked in the book, the movie could have been, I think a lot better. Totally. I agree um, with that. Oh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, uh, ladybug in the movie. Now, mm-hmm. um, in the, um, in the book, mm-hmm. uh, they made him sillier in the movie. They almost made him seem yeah. like his character is like bumbling. And yeah, because he and never like, does anything on purpose, basically. But he's like a movie. really good like assassin person in the book. Yeah, he's he just, like setting the trap. He's just and... very unlucky. Yeah. Like the worst things happen to him, mm-hmm. which I think would have still been funny in the movie. Like the, the yeah. whole way that he kills the wolf in the book is so much funny. It, like in the movie, it's just like over the top. He, yeah, when like, he throws Bad Bunny, throws the knife and it bounces bounces off and, and hits him, and then he falls over and like also breaks his neck on the oh, briefcase yeah. or whatever. It's like okay, whatever. In the book, he just has him. He gets the upper hand on him. He gets yeah, the upper hand and now around. has him, and he has him in like a headlock, and then accidentally. the train bumps oh, and he yeah. accidentally falls and breaks his neck, yeah. and it's like oh, that would have been better. That yeah. I think it would have been uh, you know better because it's, but they didn't make him. They didn't make. Uh, 
no, no, ladybug no. or whatever unlucky in he's unlucky in the movie but yeah. it's more like but he's also like kind of he's inept. also kind of inept yeah yeah um and part of that is, and they added the whole character part of him like talking about his therapy stuff oh, that's yeah. not in the book either um yeah i totally agree with you now that you mentioned that like why didn't they just do it the way it is in the book? Yeah, like we there's always another say, one of that. Yeah, because yeah, with the Hollywood budget, the cast, and the action, and the style, it would have been, it could have been better than the book. Like I you think said. so. Yeah, and I think even though, yeah, the, I know they wanted to make it a little more lighthearted in that way for the movie, but it could have been a good dark, it's darker still, action movie. Yeah. Still, it's still pretty dark. It still has violence yeah. and blood. Yeah, it does. Like, why it has not a lot actually. Put the dark story. Yeah. Um, that reminds me of um, one thing I noticed on the book. There's a little blurb on the back that. Um, the London Times says it has a Tarantino meets the Coen Brothers feel to it about the book. About the book, uh, yeah. I like that oh, description, yeah. uh-huh. and yeah. like that gets to your point that like even the book seems like an action movie, so it could have worked yeah. better as an action movie, mm-hmm. um, but it didn't quite get to that level in the movie, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, and one last thing I wanted to say: Hiroyuki Sonata, I'm a big fan. Uh, he should have been in the movie more because he's the grandpa. Well, yeah, he's the grandpa. He could have been, you know, if the, they did it the, the agent. The I mean, he still was kind of like that person where it's like... But he's just like a random samurai. It's true. It I like. know. Yeah, that's true. Why is he a samurai? I know that seem, does seem like a stereotypical thing. Yeah. It's like... He's a okay. He's a samurai. You know, that's I mean, something that uh, in the book they're not. None of them are samurais. They're just yeah. like modern assassins it just with takes guns place and stuff. in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. That is something I didn't think about while watching it, but until after thinking about it, that yeah, they make him a samurai just because yeah. he's Japanese. They make up Russian bad guy. Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, who he's is that? Russian. And then uh, the wolf is just another Japanese guy in the book. They make him yeah. a Mexican drug dealer in the movie. There's another stereotype for you, mm-hmm. even though he's barely a character. Like why? Why? Oh, why I know. They, they made the whole the character the where the hornet. Uh, was involved in you know killing uh, you know his family or whatever at the yeah. wedding and everything um and why yeah why i do don't it? know um yeah that's i think everything. that's all i got i think we touched on pretty much everything um about this uh so we yeah. go to our final recommendations okay if you skip the spoilers welcome back we're going to give you our final recommendations you like to go first yeah i read the book first um and then i watched the movie so my recommendation then based on that order would be to read the book first and then watch the movie they're both really fun so you should definitely do both of them um but uh i think the book being as good as it is um uh just i guess we're all oftentimes purists in that way it's like mm. read the original one yeah it is first, the original you know? and um, I watched the movie first, but I totally agree with you. I say read the book first. I wish I had experienced it in that order. I might have rated the book higher Mm. if I read the book first. But then also go see the movie because then you can just enjoy the action of it on screen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. So now those are our recommendations. It's time to see if they are underrated or overrated. All right, first let's look at the book, the Bullet book. Train, Kotaro Isaka. Yeah, I gave that an 8.2. I give the book a 7.4. And that average there is a 7.8 out of 10, really respectable. Good, uh, Goodreads had it at 3.74, uh, which is a 7.48 uh, out of 10. So we think the book uh, is underrated. A little bit underrated. Just a little bit. A little bit. It's a little bit better than most people think. Um, Definitely worth a read. But the movie... The movie, yeah, I gave it a 7.2. I gave it an 8.0 for an average of 7.6 Also a good score. So uh, cr- the critics on Rotten Tomato have, have it at 53. So we think it's definitely underrated. Underrated, according to the critics. I don't know what they're thinking with that. Yeah, that's low. But then with the audience score, properly rated. So yeah, audience yeah. gave it a 76. We're at 7.6 out of 10. So we got exactly the same. We're lockstep with the audience. That that hasn't happened before here on this show, has it? That we've gotten the exact same score as... Uh, not as the audience. audience. We had the same score as the critics with the Green Mile movie. Oh, oh okay. Actually. I forgot about that. Yeah. Well, first time we matched with the audience. Properly yeah. rated Bullet Train. Good job, audience. Critics, watch it again. What are you <laughs> thinking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so I guess let's get see where those uh, land in our overall rankings yeah. uh, for the whole show. Uh, looks like they land right next to each other. Um, oh, but we got a we got a three way tie here at mm. I don't even know what number you would call it place if there's a three way tie, but yeah. uh, <laughs> it comes in here somewhere around ten um, mm-hmm. at uh, uh, tied with the Sphere movie and the Green Mile movie, the Bullet Train book. The book is tied with the Green Mile and Sphere movies. Yeah, and then right below it because Bullet Train book seven point eight, Bullet Train movie seven point six. Um, just right below Bullet right Train, below, right kind above of in, under the skin, kind movie. of right above halfway in our list here. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, those is are where both, both good of these scores. lie. They are. Yeah. Those are good scores uh, on our here. They're not in our like super top scores in the eights. You know, yeah, eights are seem to be a real top high scores for us, That's especially high for, for an a average combined score. Yeah, yeah. So if we get anything in the nine for a combined score, that'll be I know. Yeah, something else. I'll say it now. I said it before, but it's going to be a long time since something until something unseats. Why don't you dance in the book or the short story? <laughs> you said that with all the pretty horses, right? Uh, I did, and, and then, then, and then, and then like two twice. weeks later, it got dethroned, <laughs> and then went, and then it did again. So yeah. um, that's just me trying to jinx it. I hope something yeah, yeah. is that good of that we course. read. That yeah, is we, we want to that. enjoy all of yeah. these, right? Yeah, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, uh, before we go... Before we go, remember, as always, remember, yeah, we've we got have some books. Some available. Books. Uh, we got links down in the description where you can order those. Yep. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram for updates. We'll have yep. links and things like that. Yep. And uh, what are we doing next month? Next month, we are doing the... Um, what do you call it? Is it, a, uh, is it an epic poem? Is it long enough to be epic? It's a poem, right? Medieval, oh, romantic. Question. It's in the uh, epic style. Chivalric yeah. poem. Yeah. Um, epic style. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight by the anonymous uh, Middle English poet. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the pretty new A24 movie adaptation. 2021, I believe. 2021, yeah. The Green Knight. Yeah. Cool. That will be exciting. So stick around for that. Yeah. And as for Bullet Train, viewer, you tell me, which is better, the book or the movie? Let us know in the comments below. Stay tuned by clicking the bell and subscribe to the channel. And tell your friends to tune in too. Click another video now. Thank you. Bye. Bye.